blessings. We give you the praise, Jesus. Hallelujah. How are you, everyone? How are you, everyone? God bless you. So, uh, you know what? I have a short, a, a short, can I say a message? Yeah, a message that I, I got from something that I saw. So I was like, ah, let me try to make a short clip. It's not even more that the clip that I want to make, the short preaching that I want to make, uh, it's not even like uh, more than 20 minutes. So uh, before I get into the message that I want to tell you, like the short message that I want to tell you over something that I saw, and I got a lesson from it. Let's just worship a little bit. Then I come back to what I want to tell you. Okay. So God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Holy. Holy name. Where's Lord? amazing eh so done great things he has done and you continue doing and he's still doing it oh my god so let me come back to the message that i want to share with you hope my music is not too loud let me come back to the message that i want to share with you so i want to show you something and this thing that i want to show you it's something that it's a lesson that i got from it and i was like ah and uh, like the like the spirit of god just put something inside me then i was like i have to make this short message like this time anything that i see like a, a message comes from everything that i see but this one i had to like i have to make this one so i have here i have um, what we call let me show you i have what we call sweet potatoes what do you call them sweet potatoes uh, my american friend they cut sweet potatoes if i'm not <laughs> if i'm not mistaken sweet potatoes uh -huh. then in my language we call it candolo candolo that's how we call it that's my zambia african language they call it candolo but you know we have a lot of tribes so in my mother's tribe we call it candolo but in america uh, my american brothers and sisters sweet potatoes so and i don't know other part of the world how you call it so uh and in my own english we call it sweet potatoes sweet potatoes so from here uh, I, actually i have about let me show you i have about three sweet potatoes are these ones there are three so i kept them in the in my house and i was i wanted to make them but i've been feeling lazy to cook they have been in they have been in for like even like a month or two i think a month or two so i wanted to throw them out but uh, i've been feeling lazy to throw them out they're not even spoiled they're not even spoiled or anything 
they are not spoiled. But one thing that I want to, the, a lesson that I got from these sweet potatoes that I have here is like, is, let me show you. So, as you can see, this is a sweet potato, as I said. And from the sweet potatoes, this, you know, I did not put it in the ground. It was just in my room. And I didn't notice what was happening, but after some time, I noticed that there was growth that was taking place on this sweet potato. The the was this the stem were coming out from this sweet potato, and like in my country, in my country where I come from, when sweet potatoes come, it removes like these leaves. The leaves that come from here, we eat them. So, ah. Uh, Oh, 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 where, where I got the lesson is from these other stains that came out from sweet potato. This sweet potato is eatable and uh, the stains are able to grow from these sweet potatoes because of the nutrients and the, 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 uh, the inner atmosphere that, that is inside this sweet potato because the atmosphere has got, uh, the inner atmosphere has got what's this water and it has got all the nutrients that is required for these stains to grow because if the stems were not if uh, the, uh, it did not have any uh, the nutrients that are required for for these stems to grow from it the stem could not have come out it could not have grown on it so what am i saying the lesson that i got from here is that there's times you are this this sweet potato and these stems are i can say that these stems and the leaves that are coming out, though it's drying up a little bit, the, the leaves that are coming out, there are people that are attached to you. And there are some people that will never know Christ. They will never come to know Jesus. There are some people that will never come to know. I'm sweating, sorry. So there are some people that will have never studied the word of God. They have never come to know Christ. They have never... They have never encountered this Jesus, even if they have encountered him, they have heard about him, but they have not seen him manifest in anyone. So you find that you being a believer, there are some people that are going to look up to you because of what you portray in the inside of you. As I said, remember that these things cannot grow if the inner the inner environment of this atmosphere could not provide the growth of these things. So whatever that so as i said you are like this sweet potato and these are the branches that comes out from you and uh, these are the branches that come from you and because there's something that is inside you that these branches the branches what were they depending to what you have inside you so as a believer and as a christian we are uh, who we are should not be reflected on the outside it has to be reflected on the inside the way that you are fed with the word of God, maybe you, are, you, have, you, you have trained yourself, built yourself, or you have built yourself in the word of God. And people who, uh, who, who feed on what is inside you, is, uh, people who feed on what is inside you, not what is outside of you. Because many other times there are people who pretend to be, to be, to be fruitful. There are people who pretend to, to be variable. To, there are people who pretend as if, they, 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 they are godly, they are spiritual, but the inside is rotten. It does not provide any atmosphere for anyone to see, anyone to see or look up to and depend on their growth. See, in the Bible, in the Bible, the Bible says that there are some people, uh, uh, what is this? What? Mm -mm, there are some people who do not even have a relationship with god they don't even know god they have refused the the message of god but what they see you do is what to make them to come to know christ it is what to make them come to know christ and that which is in you is what they see you doing that which is coming out from the inside of, of you of inside of you so your life and how you live and what you are poor in uh, other people, it determines if they will grow. There are some people, your growth of knowing Christ, the, fee, the way that you have fed yourself, the way that you have partaken, as you start offloading because you have, uh, you have built the capacity inside yourself of the way, the growth, because as you offload it, it you, are, you are bringing life to other things. You are bringing life, uh, and you, are, you are bringing life to other souls. So this, as I said, the sweet potato is like you. And 
you have all the nutrients inside for other people to grow from what you are offering from other people to grow out from what you are you are saying what you are feeding them there are some the nutrients that you have the holy ghost inside you the word that you have inside you is so, you somebody needs that thing that word that you have that when you call yourself a christian or anything what you have fed yourself it's for somebody to depend on that growth so your growth determine somebody's growth if you are not growing or if you do not have anything inside you if you are empty inside you nothing can grow out of you if you have nothing inside you and you 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 come out maybe you try to preach the word of god or anything do what is something or you do business but there's nothing that is inside you definitely there's nothing that is inside you definitely you not produce anything you'll be empty like this one there, there'll be nothing that will come out from this one but if there's something that is in you many people start growing from what is inside you any people will start growing from what is inside you and later the, you see one thing that i'll tell you is this sweet potato on the ground no it's not on the ground so because we need the ground to grow right and jesus i'll say that jesus is the foundation so we need a foundation for us to grow but other people they will never come to have an encounter with jesus the first encounter that they will have with jesus is what you have inside you so uh, uh, what am I saying? As a child of God, as any uh, uh, any other person, maybe you are in business, you are what? You are in business and everything. Enlarge the capacity. Partake what you have to partake for the sake of growth of others. For the sake of growth of others. Your growth, somebody depends on your growth. You may not see it, but somebody is growing from what you have fed yourself. Somebody is growing from what you have been, what you have fed. Somebody is growing from for, for, from the way that you have somebody's growing from the wisdom that you have somebody's growing from the knowledge that you have somebody's growing from what you have and what you have inside you uh, what you have inside you who start producing fruit who start producing branches who start producing branches who start producing branches and you find that as they start producing branches what will happen you lead them to Christ. You lead them to the to the to the foundation of what is inside you. What is inside you? This sweet potato. If there was no ground in the beginning, it could not have grown. But because there was a ground, it grew. And I put it in the house. I was just putting because I was feeling lazy to eat it and everything. After some months, I kept it for two, three months. I've not eaten it. Uh, together with this, I've not made it. So at the end of the day, what has happened? Something started growing from it because the environment was suitable honey so the environment was suitable I'm coming okay so the environment was suitable so what environment are you do you have you uh, what environment is within you is it suitable for somebody that can look up to you and say that okay when i look up to you there's something that i've learned when i look up to you there's something that i get from you the environment that you have put is it nutritious is it healthy is it a some people see sometimes some people they create an environment of, of destroying they create an environment of bringing uh, of bringing destruction but what environment do you do you do do, do you uh, do you like create for yourself is it an environment where somebody when they look at you they'll grow in the when they look at your marriage they look at your marriage and they look at your marriage it becomes an example that they begin to grow from what you have learned or how you behave or how you have or, or the knowledge that you give them when you're a young person what environment are you preparing right now you can be young but there's an environment that you're supposed to prepare so that you should be a blessing not only to not only within your yourself but within people that watches you between people that look up to you and let me tell you there are some people who look up to you they will never tell you but they are growing from your character so i just want to encourage you what environment have you have you what environment have you built within yourself is it an environment that something can grow out of you and they will say because the bible says by their fruit will know them with their fruit will know them so what fruits are you producing can somebody boast and say that my growth for me to produce this fruit is because of that lady it's because of that woman it's because of that fellow youth it's because of that pastor it's because of that one so what environment are you prepared do you have enough nutrients enough weight enough for knowledge enough enough anything that will build somebody's life so 
I just want to tell you, be somebody. Acquire the knowledge that is needed. Be somebody that when they look up to, they will be like, they will learn something and grow from that. So, as I said, this was not, the, the, the growth of these themes does not depend on the ground. It depends on the, on the sweet potato. And the sweet potato depended on the ground. So ground, I can say that the foundation is all crust. It's all crust. So these, they are imitating what is inside this, is inside the sweet potato. They are imitating. And guess what? This potato is also, in, it, 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 it's growth since it depends from the ground. Because if there was no ground, this potato could not have come back like this. So, so that's why even what you do, or who you follow imitate them because they imitate Christ so if they don't imitate Christ don't follow them because is it Apostle Paul in the book of 1 Corinthians 1 Corinthians 11 this one it says imitate me as I imitate Christ so the growth of this one is because of this one and this one grew because of the ground so if there was not this one they could have know this one so imitate Christ is imitate what the original and as a believer whatever that nutrients you have to provide an environment for somebody's growth imitate Christ first because as you imitate Christ anything that does not imitate Christ even if it was imitating Christ it stop stop following that thing so imitate it as because it is imitating Christ so I just want to tell you build a, a build uh, build a capacity within yourself the uh, acquire yourself involve yourself in things that to build your life and because what you have right now it's not only for you but it is also for a generation and generation and generation hallelujah so this thing i just this is what i wanted to say so these are the sweet potatoes that i had and i can see there's another growth that is coming out from this sweet potato so god bless you let your life be a life that somebody is going to learn something and grow from it like this this is more like a life and other lives are coming out from it. It can be your children, your neighbors, your friends, people around. Be a blessing and may God bless you. I love you. Oh my soul, I have to go. Hope you have learned something. I